Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Our recipe today is the scrumptious buttered fish in breadcrumbs. And we're going to be putting these fish breadcrumbs in breadcrumbs in our mini wraps, as you can see here, accompanied with our coleslaw salad, which has a very nice taste and a kick of relish to it. Bokai bari femati manyawati iti lente benen krustila sun heti jen yo ham ne mom yin gis nak nin koi defe. So these are the pieces like I've shown you. We cut the fish into and these are my rest ingredients. So after cutting it into this and dabbing it, we're going to be blending the ingredients which I'll be listing on the screen, guys. Okay, so yin gis nak fi yu am fi sun latch am sun. Kani budija, am sun power, kajin, yina magina ham dal si power ge, kajin ge, ginger paste ge, yina ni yip as written on the screen. Everything is on the screen, guys. So you can just go in and blend the seasoning. That's my paprika I've just added. Right, so you can see everything is well blended. I'm going to be just um, putting it in a bowl now to start seasoning my fish. So this seasoning is our knocker space like we call it here. So it's really nice and it just gives it a different vibe. Okay, this again. So knocker skill ni lenko de fe suko de fenyo da de kowal. So I also prefer ginger in my seasoning because I feel like ginger is the main kick to this butter. So you cannot cook it without ginger. You need that ginger paste, you know. <laughs> Voila, so Aicha. Right, so we season it up nicely and then we'll be putting it aside. Once we're just perfectly done, just clean fill it and put it aside. So we'll be moving on to the butter. So I've got my corn flour here, also my corn flour and flour, and I've got one egg here. I'm just gonna be put the egg in this cup and then stir it nicely and we're going to be adding it to my butter mix preferable I preferably I always like to make mix my butter in one bowl I don't like to separate it because I feel like the fish has water and it easily loses its taste so what I do is I make sure I mix everything in one bowl and this just gives it a vibe so I added onion granules and ginger powder to my flour and once it's perfectly mixed I'm gonna be pouring everything in my seasoning seasoned fish okay this again so powder ginger la de fofunon ak onion powder si sama farine def farine ba pare def farine mboha bi bole kok sama nen bena nen rek mi eef mi eef so we pour yep lañu jël da sotti ko nga xamné mu gëna mëna saf duga jën bi ndax jën dafa bari ndox té li wara mëna safal yi ci biir jën da nga koy def yépp ci bénn bol jaxasé ko bénn ba paré nak dal di ko tégé bol ah try len bi nak ngeen wax man nak lan ngeen ci fok nika how beautiful it looks so once it's perfectly mixed we're just going to put it aside and then move on to something else right Hey, check this again. All perfectly done and nice. So this is the breadcrumbs I'll be using to coat the fish. And guys, um, you can see that I've put some balsamic vinegar to the fish as well. This is just to give it a little bit of kick. If you don't have that, you can just use some lemon. So we'll move on to frying everything. And before anything, we're just gonna coat the fish in the breadcrumbs. Don't overcoat it. Like that, they just some buru bunyol. So, kada fe nga def fajin bidal de ko saf na si dulin bu m. Right. So, can you see it's frying lovely and nice, guys? So, I'm gonna dip it in the breadcrumbs and fry it. I don't want it too covered, so it's up to you. I just like to have that crunchiness of the breadcrumbs because the fish is well seasoned as well and it's absolutely beautiful. This again, so got if you like some buru you will be like that because she left and not fry it. 
right so you can see it's frying nicely guys and like I said do not fry it on high temperature because you want the fish cooked so just make sure you fry it in a nice medium temperature so that the fish ensure that the fish is well cooked and look at how golden and nice it looks here so everything is almost there Wow, okay, this is a mini and koto, giving a ham the gin with the namun and your CP. What a dog be more a cell. Right, guys, so for this fish wrap, what I do is I'm just gonna add three tablespoons of mayo, a tablespoon of mustard, and you can see my greens, which is parsley here, and I'm going to be mixing this up together creamy and nice that's why I added three tablespoons but if you don't want it creamy you can add less all that parsley my parsley carrot lignon onion axon mayonnaise def mayonnaise with that this is def mutar direct for for lamb Right, look at our fish. It's all fried and nice. Look at how covered it looks. And that's our mini wrap breads. These are perfect for brunch. I've got my coleslaw salad here with all that parsley, the parsley flavor and all that mustard ginger in it. Oh la la. Now we're going to make our wrap breads. And So far. So you don't need to put much. Just put a decent amount and this is good to go. So I'll put this here, wrap it like an envelope and voila.